What is up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be doing this little girl's seven month update. So I'm going to sit down and we are going to chat <laughs> all things Ember Ray. So if that is something you want to see, just keep on watching. Okay, today we're just going to be sitting down and chatting about this little girl and her seven month update. I originally, like I said in our six month update, I originally planned to do these every single month from the month she was born. And we didn't do any of them until six months. So we have, <laughs> we have life together a little bit more now. And I feel like we are finally in a groove and I am able to actually create YouTube videos on a more regular basis. So, of course these are mainly for me to look back on because I already feel like I'm forgetting so much about like the first couple weeks, days, months with her. So I really want to have these to look back on, especially now that she's getting so much more active. So, if you do not follow us on Instagram, right here, Point it right there, Amber. <laughs> you can follow us on Instagram. Um, I share tons of just day-to-day, behind-the-scenes life. What, like, baby products I'm loving. I share tons about health and fitness. Um, because I am a health and fitness coach, that's what I do for work. Um, I work from home, so I'm able to be home with her all the time. But I share all of that over on Instagram. That is my, like main social media account, but we love YouTube too. We love to document and remember all the things that we do, huh? <laughs> she is seriously the sweetest baby. So I do have some notes on my phone. We'll see if she sits nicely beside me and let, lets me do this, but you know what? We're just gonna roll with it because that is what life with a baby is like, huh, Ember? She sees her toys. So that is one of our big updates, is that she is basically sitting like a champ. Every once in a while, she does tip over, but she does pretty well. She's also like, I don't know, it's just crazy. Once they learn something, they just are so quick to really like figure it out. Like. I remember when she would lay under her little play mat and it was like hard for her to like grab her toys and now she just like is so good about grabbing her toys, putting them in and out of baskets. So she's just gonna hang out right here and we are going to chat all things Miss Ember Ray. So I do have some notes here on my phone, um, but before we dive in, be sure to subscribe to this channel, to our YouTube channel. Like I said, we're getting way more consistent with it. Um, so if you have any like video ideas, put them in the comments down below. I am always up for new ideas. I felt like it was so easy to share um, through pregnancy because I was like sharing all of my personal experiences. And now there's just so much that I can share through motherhood and through health and fitness. Um, I do keep most of my health and fitness stuff over on Instagram and then YouTube right here is more like the mom life. So um, if you're in interested in health and fitness, of course you can find all that on Instagram. But here we are going to chat mommy, mommy things, huh? Um, so as I shared, Miss Ember Ray is now seven months old. She just had an appointment this week. We actually had a follow-up appointment. I don't know if I shared or if I even knew yet at her six-month video, but um, she's a petite little gal. So at her six-month appointment, um, her head was measuring just a little bit small. I personally can't tell from looking, but her head was measuring in the third percentile, so definitely a little smaller than they would have liked. I think it dropped from like the 20th to the third, so she's always been pretty petite. So we just had a follow-up appointment this week. Her head is growing perfectly fine. Um, it definitely grew in the last month, so they aren't worried. No worries anymore. But we had an appointment. She is now 16 pounds, 5.5 ounces, and 26 inches tall. She is a big girl. Okay, so if the framing looks a little different, that is because my battery died because I am the worst at putting new batteries in. I always have them charged. I just never put them in before filming. So, um, diving right in. As I shared, she is 16 
pounds, 5.5 ounces, 26 inches tall. She is growing so fast. It is crazy to me how much babies grow. So when she was born, she was six pounds, 11 ounces, and 18 inches long. So Jacob and I were talking and I was like, oh my gosh, she's literally almost grown 10 inches. Like she's grown eight inches, right? Yeah, eight inches in seven months. Isn't that wild? Like babies grow so much. I imagine that they're probably in quite a bit of pain from all the growing, but they seem so happy. <laughs> Anyways, she is sitting like a champ as I shared. She's doing so well. It's crazy. I feel like over the last like two weeks, she's really gotten it down. Like we would sit her in, uh, I would take her diaper box and I'd put her blanket in it and I would sit her in that and I shared it on Instagram and everyone was like, that's so smart. But I would sit her in that while I was like doing my makeup and stuff and it was such a good way for her to practice sitting with like having something in case she tipped over. Now something that I do because our floors are pretty hard. Um, we have a rug right here, but it's definitely not a thick rug. I take my pregnancy pillow and I wrap it around her. That way if she tips over, she has something soft to fall on. Unless of course like this, I'm sitting right next to her. So if she tips over, I can catch her. But aside from that, she's getting better and better every single day at sitting. It makes me like so excited, but so sad because I feel like She's just getting so big. Like she doesn't need me as much anymore, which is nice, but also so sad. I know you mamas can relate. She cut her first tooth on Father's Day. We joked about that. So in her sixth month, um, Father's Day happened. Um, so she cut her first tooth on on June 21st, 2020. We joked about it. Like she, it was getting so close. We could, we could see it below the gums and we were like, it's so close. And my mom and Jacob were like, it's gonna come on Father's Day. It's gonna be the perfect little Father's Day gift. And of course we woke up that morning and we felt it and she had a sharp little tooth. Yeah. And then she cut her second tooth six days later on the following Saturday. Um, she wears space buns now. So if you follow her or me on Instagram, you have seen them. She has a lot of hair. If you haven't noticed, she has like a full on little baby mullet back here. I can literally braid this. I haven't like, <laughs> she wants her toys. I haven't put her hair in a braid yet because I don't know how it would hold, um, but she has so much hair back here. Um, but I can now put her hair in like the cutest little space buns, just two little space buns up on top and I am obsessed. It is so cute, but this girl has got some hair. Um, I've shared, I think I've shared before, Jacob and I both had tons of hair, like more than she had when she was born. So we knew she would have hair also in every single ultrasound after like 20 weeks they were like oh my gosh look at that hair so they could clearly see it in the ultrasounds as well so space buns has been the new thing this month um i swear she said mama i shared a video on my instagram and everyone agreed except for the few that said like she definitely doesn't realize she's saying mama which i get i get it but i still get bragging rights she says mama <laughs> she can't obviously she's too young to know like when I walk into a room to be like mama but she's learning how to like vocalize things more she's definitely a lot louder we call her our little pterodactyl because she's constantly screeching and just making little noises and babbling but I feel like I get to claim she said mama first she's now eating mixed food so I, I have a whole video on how I make foods for her um we use the Baby Brezza. It is literally a lifesaver, not sponsored at all. We just love it. And I just make, um, I try to make food in advance and freeze them for her. But one of her favorites right now that we just tried this week and she cannot get enough of it. And I am so thankful because she's definitely more of a fan of fruits. Obviously they're sweeter. Uh, but I've been trying to like sneak veggies in. So I did zucchini and I mixed it with banana. So banana was prior to this, her favorite food. And I was like, oh my gosh, we have a zucchini that needs to be used. And so I mixed it with a banana and she loved it. Oh my goodness. She could not get enough. So I'm super happy because she was eating some veggies and she had the flavor of the banana. So 
she definitely loved that um but yeah we're doing lots of mixed foods now so I don't know like what's right or wrong so I'm living on Google like when to feed specific things how to feed like there's so many different ways so I will always say a fed baby is best do what works for you but we started with introducing like single purees and now we're doing mixed purees she has had meat now um she's had chicken i guess that's the only meat that she's had so far but she's had chicken she does sweet potatoes peas asparagus mango um apples blueberries bananas so many things we've tried so many things now um but her favorite to date is definitely the zucchini and banana mix. Um, she definitely loves her puppy, Ava, more than she loves us. She's looking at her right now. Do you see Ava? Where's Ava? Do you see your puppy over there? <laughs> she loves Ava. Once she's on the move, Ava's in for a rude awakening because all she wants to do is like grab her ears. So we're working on being gentle. If you have any tips on how to teach a baby to be gentle with dogs, please put it in the comments down below because Ava's a fan, she's fantastic with her. Like she's very, very gentle, um, which did worry me during pregnancy because Ava's still a very young dog. She just turned two. Um, and she's very high energy. She is a chihuahua wiener dog. She's a chihuahua and she's small, just like Ember. And so they are gonna be best friends, but I need tips on how to teach this one not to like pull on her ears or bite her. So that's what we're working on. Um, something else, we're still nursing, we're breastfeeding. Uh, seven months strong today, which is so exciting. However, she is getting so interested in things that are going on around her. So if we turn the TV, I don't, t I work from home. I don't turn the TV on like very rarely at home. If I'm doing her hair, I do have to turn on like the wiggles or something to entertain her because she's little and it is hard to, she's just now sitting up. So it's hard. It was hard up until now to like sit and do her hair. So I'd have to lay her down and she'd want to roll. So I would put like the wiggles or something on to entertain her for like two minutes while I did her hair. But we don't have the TV on most days. We just play. And so in the evening when Jacob's home and we do want to turn the TV on and relax, she will not nurse. All she wants to do is stare at the TV. So we definitely have to nurse in like silence for the most part. Um, but I know that's probably normal as she's just excited to explore and see what's going on in the world around her. Are you trying to bite me? What are you doing, honey? What are you doing? Here's your basket. So, napping. She is still a fantastic sleeper. I am so thankful. Now, I will say, she still wakes up at least one time every single night, for the most part. We've had, I think, a total of four nights up to date that she has slept all the way through the night. Um, but she typically is still taking two to three naps. So normally she goes down, at least right now, normally she goes down around 10:30, 11 a.m. So she wakes up, I should say, she wakes up at 9, 9.15, which I love. It gives me time, like me, I have me time in the morning um, to work out, get ready for the day, eat breakfast, and just have a little bit of peace and quiet before mom life starts. So she gets up around 9.15 almost every single day, um, 9, 9.15, and then she goes down for her first nap at 10.30 or 11. I cannot keep her up past that. She is like ready for a nap at that time, which is just crazy to me after sleeping for so long. And then... That is normally a one hour nap. Then she wakes up around noon. We eat and she eats um, some solids, like some purees at that point and I eat lunch. And then we just play for the day. Um, and then she goes down for her second nap around two. That nap is typically two hours. Every once in a while it'll be three hours. And I just kind of let her sleep. Um, if it's a two hour nap and she wakes up at four, she does go down for her third nap around 5.36 and it's a very short nap, typically 30 minutes. If she takes a three hour nap in the afternoon and wakes up closer to five, we then try our hardest to keep her up until her bedtime, which we have set at eight. So she normally goes to bed at eight unless we are having like a family dinner with like Jacob's family over or if we're at my parents' house. Um, she does pretty well staying up later than bedtime and it, 
from what I've experienced, it hasn't really affected the night's sleep other than maybe she wakes up to eat at a different time, but she does still wake up at normally one time every night and normally it's around three. Of course we have our nights where it's like she's up more than normal or she like wakes up at weird times, but she for the most part will just eat and she's a pretty quick nurser. Um, normally our feeds are about eight minutes and that's what they've been for the last couple months. <laughs> yeah, anywhere from like eight to 12 minutes. So at night, um, she will like just continue eating. I don't know if she's actually eating, um, but she will just like be attached to me for like 15 minutes. So I've learned to just feed her like about four minutes on each side and then I lay her back in her crib and she's out. Um, and we've never had issues up to date getting her back to sleep. This is something she loves doing. Like, I think she's dancing. We like dancing around the kitchen um, while we're like cooking dinner and just hanging out as a family. And so normally when music's on, she like bounces back and forth, <laughs> but she does it all the time now. And I think it's so cute. Um, but yeah, she's still taking two to three naps a day. I think that changes sometime soon. See, I think that changes sometime soon to where she'll be down to just two, two naps. I think I've heard like anywhere from like seven to eight months, they drop down to two naps. So I think she's definitely working on that because some nights she doesn't take her evening nap. Um, she's now a big cousin. That's a big update. So my brother, <laughs> my brother and his girlfriend had a little one um, this past Sunday. So I think it was the 6th. They had her on the 5th. So they had her on July 5th. And so now Ember is a big cousin and I am so excited. I grew up with cousins very close in age. Like I have a cousin that is three weeks older than me and another cousin that's three weeks younger than me. And then I have a cousin that's like a year younger than me. It, regardless, I had cousins that were like all very close in age. My brother had cousins that were very close to his age. And so when we got pregnant, I was like really hopeful that she would have cousins somewhere near her age and so to be just like almost seven months apart will be so fun for them it's a little girl so she has like a new little bestie and she they're gonna be best friends i am so excited my brother's little girl also has a head full of hair and hers is like jet black so she has more than ember if you saw pictures of ember as a newborn she has more than that you almost can't see her scalp but I'm excited to watch them grow up together. Um, she's rolling way more now. I feel like she is just such a strong headed little girl um, because she has known how to roll since. <laughs> this is our life. She's known how to roll since I think like three or four months, um, but she just didn't like, want to do it like she would just rather lay on her back or if we put her on her belly she'd be fine on her belly but she didn't enjoy like rolling by herself now in the last couple of weeks she has definitely started rolling a lot more she'll roll from her back to her belly and just like all around on her play mat but we haven't had any issues yet where she's like across the room like if we set her down somewhere and then we come back she's never been more than like one roll away from where we left her um so she basically stays on her little play mat for the most part. <gasps> Are you getting tired of sitting here? You wanna sit right here for a minute? We're almost done. There you go. There's your toy. We are just about done with her update. But, um, like I said, she stays close when she's rolling. She gets so excited for nap time, it cracks me up. When we walk into her room and I turn her sound machine on, she starts kicking her feet and she gets so excited for us to put her in her sleep sack. So I hope that she always loves naps because that is so nice. But that is basically it for you, huh? You nap well, she eats well, she's growing like a little weed. She smiles. She has her own Instagram as well. I share it all the time over on my Instagram, but I'm just trying to document all these special little moments because they grow so fast. Look at those chunky little legs. Look at those chunky little legs. <gasps> she pulls my hair. It's so nice. Ember, be gentle. <gasps> Do you want to say bye to your friends? <gasps> 
Do you want to say bye? Say bye bye. Say bye bye. See you later. See you later. <laughs> she is so fun. So that is Ember's seven month update. I'm going to do my best to keep doing these every single month because she is just growing and changing so much now. And I definitely don't want to miss any of these little moments because we forget so fast. So if you have any ideas of what you would like to see more of on my YouTube channel, please put them in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and head over to Instagram and click follow so that you can stay up to date on all our day to day behind the scenes life happenings over there. But I will see you in our next video. Bye bye. Say bye bye.